to feel like he has power. Right. We make it feel like he got power. Because we do not, we do not separate ourselves from our feelings. Amen. Talk about me. Because I knew that's what he was trying to do to me this morning, get me caught up in my feelings. Amen. That's why sometimes you need to get in the Word and put the whole arm of God on it. Because I love one thing, your feeling will mess you up. Amen. Yes, it will. Every time. Yes, it will. It'll mess you up. <laughs> sometimes people ain't thinking about you that way, but your feelings say they do. <laughs> and then you mess your own self up. Amen. 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 That's why he said he come to steal, kill, and Amen. destroy. See, he always come in a time when you at your weakest moment. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But I thank God today that I'm not in that weak moment. Amen. 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 Because I love one thing. If you lay too long, your mind goes to one, y'all. Amen. When in my mind goes to one, I jump up out the bed. I get on <laughs> and get in the word. Amen. And see, if you lay there, he start working with your mind. Yeah, but if you get on up and get a scripture or just move around, he yeah, has sure. to get off you. Right. 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 Amen. Amen. See, you all the time you don't have to fight. You just get up. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Amen. Okay. You ain't got to argue with it. Just get up. Get up. Because he be, my God. Why I said that, I was looking at Perry and his little son out with doing his little thing yesterday trying to fight. Amen. And when the boy knocked Perry down, and I looked back, and he was just holding him. And Perry was stuttering. So when I got up there, I said, Perry. And I told the boy, get off of him. And I grabbed him by the hand, grabbed to get Perry up, but he was just laying there. I want you right. to see something. Yeah. Yeah. When you done got a certain <coughs> age, a certain, you need to stop trying to do something that caused the enemy to take you out. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He was blowing so hard, I just dressed out and got him. Amen. And pulled him up. And what I'm saying, the enemy want to catch you at your moment. To knock you down so he can keep you down. Right. But Jesus said, I'm reaching down to pick you uh, up. Amen. I want you to get that. No matter what it look like, what it seemed like, Jesus said, I'm there to reach down and pick you up. Amen. 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 Thank Amen. God for the picking Amen. up. Amen. Amen. No matter what the situation you're Thank going through. He dared to pick Thank you, you up. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. So we're going to get to the last episode. I feel good, y'all. I have to dance and get that I want to think about me. I learned to praise and more I praise him the better I feel. Amen. 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 See, your praise will bring you through. Amen. Amen. He can't stand you to holler. Mm -hmm. Hey! It's because when you holler, you shatter his ears. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Well, <laughs> and he can't stand the, the sound of the trumpet. Your amen. mouth is your trumpet. Yes, amen. And see, people stay so quiet in the church, don't know. When you holler, you're breaking forces. You're breaking his hand off of you. Amen. And you need your find that broke, you need to holler. Oh! I'm <laughs> Whatever you need off of you, you need to shatter it, shatter it off of you. Okay. Amen. We too busy holding stuff. Amen. Amen. And letting stuff hold us. Amen. Amen. So I begin now, I holler. I, I mean, I keep up a lot of noise in my house. I know, I know sometimes I feel like that. I'm crazy out there. <laughs> but I get to do it outside. <laughs> I'll be doing some hollering. Amen. Amen. And today we're going to go back to Matthew, the fourth chapter. We're going to do, we're going to finish the last thing Jesus did with the enemy. Amen. Because the enemy, thank you. He's smart, but he's not. But if you don't know his devices, he used the same thing. 
we're not watching the pattern. Amen. It's a shame we don't watch pattern. I'm telling you, if he can't, he don't have nothing new. It's the same thing. On Thanksgiving, he just used different people. But you look at the spirit, he said, know them by their fruits. Amen. I know James Jackson children by our nose. Right. <laughs> All of us got James Jackson nose. All five of us had nose. And that Kylie, Link Kylie, we call it Kylie. Yeah. We know, I know James Jackson children. Right. Amen. 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 So I'm trying to say you know him by his fruits. Amen. 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 I'm going to show you in the word. I, I want verse 10, but I want you to do verse 9 before you get to 10. I want, I didn't write it down. We gonna, But verse 10 is the main one. I want you to read 9 what Satan said to Jesus. Then said, then I want you to get to Jesus. I didn't notice it until I looked at it yesterday and I didn't put it down. Read you read verse 9, then go to 10. And said unto him. Okay, say they're talking to Jesus. That's who talking right now. All these things will I give thee. The way he told Jesus. <laughs> oh my talk dashel, I forgot. The topic is dashel. Yeah. That's my topic, dashel. I'm so caught up this way. <laughs> To, to I feel like I, I feel in the realm of the spirit that it's a breakthrough in the heaven and right now. God been opening up the windows of heaven, posting stuff out on you today. It's pouring out today. Just be ready to receive it. Amen. Amen. And this is what he said to Jesus. And he said unto him, talking to they're talking to Jesus. All these things will I give thee. First thing he said, all these things. <laughs> I will get to the end. He don't own it. No, right. it ain't it. <laughs> How people can give you something that they don't own? Like, <laughs> see, that, see how he deceiving people? Amen. <laughs> All these things I give you Amen. if you worship me. But he don't own nothing. <laughs> see how you get deceived? How people can deceive you by something that they don't even own. Amen. Amen. Right. Amen. Yeah. So you would tell all these things I give thee. If thou would fall down and worship me. And he told me, if thou would fall down and worship me. See, he was trying to get Jesus with things. What is doing on the world today? What getting people things? Material things. Material things are getting people today. That is the work of the enemy. Amen. If you look at many things on TV, all advertise they advertise everything in the book for people to get. Folks are saying that all night long on the curve trying to get the telephone. Right. You know, it's nothing wrong with stuff. The way I'm trying to get you, it's nothing wrong with it. Amen. But it's how your mindset towards stuff. Amen. See, Jesus' mind was not towards stuff. See, the enemy know when people are towards stuff. Know how to get it. And know how to hook you up. Amen. Know them, uh, them saying, hook you up. <laughs> he know to hook you up. Amen. Amen. So this is what he was trying to do to Jesus. Do things. I want you to see. That's one thing that the world is messing with people is things. Amen. 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 Thank you. Now look what Jesus said. Then said Jesus unto him. Then said Jesus unto him. Jesus talking back to him. What's what thing he told? Get thee hence. He Satan. told him to get thee hence, Satan. Okay. He told him to get out the way. Mm -hmm. Get out of my way. way. See, we don't tell him to get, get out, out, out of our way. Amen. He will obey. He most scared of you than you scared of him. But we do not say nothing. Amen. He told him get hence. Satan, he called him by name. The way he said, "For it is written." For it is written. He reminded him what the father told. It is written. Now, I'm put it. If your mama told you not to go down that road, here come your friend. They said, 
Come on, let's go down the street. Mom, your mom ain't here. Mm -hmm. Liar. Right. <laughs> First thing you said, Mama said I can't go. Right. It's written. It, she done read it, it and dope. said it and put it in your head. That's so right. you don't go down the street. That's right. Yeah. yeah. See, this is what the father had put in Jesus' head that it is written. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. Thou, he told thou shalt worship the Lord thy God. So Jesus is putting in your head today, thou shalt worship me and not the thing of the world that Satan offered unto you. Right? Amen. Exactly. Exactly. This is what he's telling you. This will call you to separate yourself from me. Right. Look how many people are separated from Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes. And him only shall thou serve. Him who? Only. Him only shall yes. thou serve. Only. You should serve only for him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. This is what he's saying. You don't serve nothing for me. But what we <coughs> serve. Everything. 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 Yeah. Right. Whatever hit we serve. Amen. He's saying you don't serve nobody but only me. me. Him only shall thou serve. Everybody serving everything but him. Yes. The creator. That's amazing. We love what he creates. Right. But we don't love the creator. Right. Ain't that something? Yeah, That's just like, man, you take us today. People don't care nothing about you that they want your money. Yeah, they, want your stuff. <laughs> they care about your stuff. Oh, yeah. But they don't care nothing about <laughs> you. <laughs> this is what he's saying. Only me you care about. Hallelujah. So if you don't care about him, you're going to miss what the purpose he had for you. Yes, Lord. He got more for you. I'm going to show you what the enemy is trying to rob you, what got you to got you. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to show you in the word. I said, God, the Bible. I'm selling for less when I got the best. Amen. 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 I just got to line up with the best. Yes. Right. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to show you. Let's go to Deuteronomy 6. The 6th chapter of Deuteronomy. Ooh, that's in the Old Testament. Deuteronomy 6. Ooh, my God, I'm going to show my how I got to read now. Deuteronomy 6, starting verse 10 to 13. Look what he said. And it shall be. And it, where it going to be? Shall be. It shall be. It shall be. He telling you what I'm telling you. It Come shall up. be. I like that. That's a sure thing. It shall be. But if I get impatient, it ain't going to be. Right. 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 See, that's what Satan trying to get you impatient. So you miss what you're supposed to be getting. Amen. That's what he is. He is here to deceive you. Yeah. Get you all caught. Amen. Amen. It shall be what I should do. When the Lord thy God shall have brought thee into the land which he swore unto thy fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give thee great and goodly cities which thou buildest not. Now that's what he's trying to do for you. Now, I know that's true. It hit me. Come on, look. He said, it shall be when the Lord thy God shall br have brought thee into the land where he swore unto thy father. He Some he already swore to give you. Amen. So the enemy don't want you to give. Amen. Did you remember he, he offered Jesus all these things? It don't belong to him. Right. It belongs to God. Amen. So he trying to rob you of what he ready to give you. When he swore, see he swore this to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. They did. Amen. Now, now which one you gonna serve? He keep it problem with that folk. Right. Amen. Mm -hmm. They got that passage now. Amen. Amen. 
<laughs> he swore to <laughs> he swore to Abraham to Isaac and Jacob to give us what less to give thee great and goodly cities. And gonna give you great and goodly city, a city that is good. Good ground is going to bring up what you need. It ain't going to be dead. Ain't going to be no worms in there. Amen. Ain't going to be nothing eating your stuff up. Amen. My God, I saw a good God. Ain't no worms. You know how worms eat up the green? Yes. The tomatoes. Ain't going to be none of them in there. Amen. Amen. Right. Good ground. Amen. Good city. Wait, I didn't do what? Which thou buildest not. I didn't build it. Be rich folk got all this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> he that in the yard will get it. Thank you. He got it out. He just he let them get it up so you can have it. Say that, Pastor. See what the enemy trying to cheat you? Mm, trying to, baby. Right? Trying to Thank cheat you. you. Yeah. Trying. Something you ain't even work for, you finna get it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. How's that thing gonna say? I, I can't do nothing with this house. Uh, take it. Uh, Michelle, get yeah. the house. Yeah, you just take it. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm gonna sign up. Just give me one dollar. Just sign and go on with it. No, no taxes. Yeah. No taxes. No tax. That's right. And I know that's a fact. Right. <laughs> it happened to you. Amen. Amen. Okay, look what he said in verse 11. And houses full of all good things. Houses full of all good oh, things. They're okay. antique furniture. Right. And the big old roof. <laughs> big flow TV setting up in there on right. the wall. And you know the kind you sit back at the theater, you know, later. You sit back and get watching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, good, right. good thing. Good thing. Right. Ain't gonna have no sorrow to it. Right. 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 Say that fast. Good thing. See, see when he tried to rob you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Which thou feelest not. You ain't feel nothing. You ain't done. You ain't felt the pain your pain to feel. Uh -huh. <laughs> right. <laughs> pain is all. You ain't feeling it. You didn't feel that. They felt it. You did. <laughs> But he gonna give it to us. He gonna give it to you. Come on. And wells dig. And the wells you ain't do. Mm -hmm. You ain't done nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which thou diggest not. You didn't dig it. Vineyards. Vineyard. And olive trees. And olive trees. Which thou plantest and not. And you need plant. Mm. You ain't planting that. I ain't did jack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought about this man walking along. He found this old corn. He was just walking and found this old corn, and it was money. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. And he ain't got that money. Right. It was Amen. sitting there waiting on him. Amen. Now this man got plenty of money. Right. Come on, y'all. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Look what he said. When thou shalt have eaten and be full. And that means when thou have eaten and full, he gonna fill you up. You know that kind of, <clears throat> you know that best kind. You can hurt me, I'm full. <laughs> I ain't no lie. You know, when you full, everything that no lie. Your house so full, Abraham was so full in his house, he didn't like nothing, he was just Amen. giving you the right. And they was steady coming back in. Amen. So you ain't gonna be lacking nothing. Amen. Amen. Look, who? my God, I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm on this territory. You ain't fooling me, you hyena. Amen. You know how hyena is. You know how hyena is. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Look what he said to verse 12. Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord. So when these things don't be, don't forget him. Don't forget him. He said you don't forget him. Right. Okay. Which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt. Which brought you out. He gonna bring you to these places. He gonna bring you from being, uh, no, locking, to have. 
Amen. He gonna bring cause if you look at Egypt, that's oh, when you ain't got nothing, that's fun. Tell it. He been to bring you out of Egypt of not liking, having stuff. Thank you, Jesus. Out of life. Amen. He been to give you plenty. Come on. Thank you. Egypt is a that way it's a rock. So he been to bring, don't forget. Who brought you out of it? Amen. Who it says? From the house of bondage. From the house of bondage. He's been to bring you out of it. Amen. 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 Thank, you, Thank you, Jesus. Look what verse 13 says. That's what I'm going to get. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. All we have to do is what? Fear, fear him. Fear him. Fear him means to reverence him. Yes. He means instead of it, fear him to reverence him. Yes. To always honor him as your Lord. Yes. Amen. Amen. And serve him. And serve him. Wait, see. Fear him. Serve him. Mean serve him. Mean come and sit and give him praise in his house. Serving him to show your love. If I love a person and I care, I'm gonna serve you. This way he said, serve me. Give me a dose. Give me some. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm serving you. This way he said, serve me. If I said love me, serve me some love. Amen. Love me. Amen. Serve me. Amen. This is what he's saying. Serve me. Amen. I can distribute this love. Serve me. Mm -hmm. Don't serve him. You know how other folks serve him. Right. The day is cheap, they ain't. Yeah. <laughs> they serving the chief. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. See? Come on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get y'all out heavy. So y'all can say, I know. I'm just saying, I just use you. I know you got a little trick here. Oh, well, you're going to call me at work. Yes. Amen. Faithful. Amen. Thank you. Serve me. Amen. See, people don't realize they serving the wrong God. Amen. That's right. But you serve him, you get the big benefits. Amen. 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 And then he told us to what? And shall swear by his name. Not swear by his name. So wherever his name is, you can say his name and swear by it. He going to do what he said in his name. Amen. Whatever you need in my name. I like that. Yeah. Everything he said, to us. he said, fear me, serve me, and swear by his name. Honor his name. Swear by my name. Recognize my name. Yeah. If somebody talking some stuff. Yeah. Talk about Talk me. Talk about me. Right. Yeah. Say something about me. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's it. Talk about me. What you like about me? Tell them. You, my God, you know you like somebody, like a, a friend, and you know he's good to you, and y'all getting to come say, you going to mention his name. Mm -hmm. That's what he's saying. Talk about me. Say something about me. So when you say something about me, then I can react to the other person. Mm -hmm. See? Because sometimes you say something real nice and people in a bad mood and you say something good, they come alive. Amen. 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 So when you talk about him, he brings life to a person. Amen. And Satan don't want life to come to people. Look how many dead folk walk around right. here today. Amen. They dead. And what I'm saying, they spiritual dead. Amen. They hunger and thirst is not towards God. Amen. You know, people talk about God, but their heart not toward God. Amen. That's the thing. They talk about it in your heart in front of Amen. If I want, my God, he holds them. If I get a relationship with a man, okay. If he never spend no time with me, I ain't got a relationship. Tell him. If he just don't spend time with me at night when Night crawl, like ring up. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody see him with me. Right. Just me and him. That way, Satan is a night crawl. Yes, he is. Yes, he, is. he come out at night. You know, he'll mm. see you during the day. If I like you, I'm going to see you day in. Night. Right. Right. Amen. See? Amen. I thought about my old pastor down home, Reverend Jacob. He's dead and gone now. He had a laugh one Sunday. He was talking about this woman that he was dating. But he wasn't really dating, but she was one he was creeping at night to see. He didn't want nobody to see him during the day. And he was talking for every laugh, had us all laughing. 
Because the woman wasn't a nice looking woman. But she was telling. <laughs> she was good in bed. I don't know what She was good in the bed. And he said, he said he would go at night to see him. So this particular time, she done got tired of crawling at night right. to see him. And he said he was out somewhere, said she come up to him, said, you come and see me at night while you ain't knowing me during the day. Come on. See how Satan can mess you up. Amen. That's what he dared to mess you up. Did that make sense? Yes, Lord. So when Satan mess you up with the Lord, then you can't get these benefits that he told you you gonna get. Amen. It, you know, because you got to line up with it. You know you ain't gonna get no man, nobody, you know the jack leg or a thousand dollars to go fish on the roof and you know he can't do nothing. Right. Mm. Amen. That's right. Amen. 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 Uh, I'm, Cause I'm getting them off my territory. Amen. 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 Okay, turn to this, stay at Deuteronomy, go to verse, t, uh, Deuteronomy 10, chapter, verse 20. Get turn over to 10. I ain't got the full scripture, y'all can get over it then. Deuteronomy 10. 10 and 20. Okay. So, verse 20. Uh, Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. He's still telling you, thou shalt what? Fear. So I want you to get thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God. Uh huh. Right. Him shalt thou serve. So he done said it twice to you. Him thou shalt serve. And to him shalt thou cleave. Okay, did I just say him that thou shalt do what? Cleave. Cleave to. You said think with it. Right. Amen. Do the up and the down. Amen. Stick with it. 